very early on the first day of the week at Tishanat, they were on the way to the tomb and they asked each other, who will walk the stone away from the entrance to the tomb? They asked this because the stone was very large and very heavy. But they looked up and saw that it had been rolled away. As they went into the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in white robes and women, and they were alone. Don't be afraid, he said. You are looking for Jesus, who is crucified. He has risen. He is not here. Such a place where they can live him. But rather tell his disciples and Peter. <coughs> Go ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. Just as he
understanding who are your God, your heart and your mind in Jesus Christ. And thanks be to God who always leads us on our way in Christ and through us spreads everywhere in the knowledge of Jesus. When you were dead and risen, God made you alive in Christ. He forgave us all our sins and took it away, nailing it to the cross. Let 
this way will say, the steadfast love that he works forever. Let the house of Aaron say, the steadfast love that he works forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, the steadfast love endures forever. Out of my distress I called on the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me in a broad place. With the Lord on my side I do not fear. What can mortals do to me? The Lord is on my side to help me. I shall look in triumph on those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put confidence in mortals. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All nations surrounded me. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They surrounded me, surrounded me on every side. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They surrounded me like bees. They blazed like a fire of thorns. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. I was pushed hard so I, that I was failing. But the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. There are glad songs of victory in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does value. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord has punished me severely, but he did not give me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord, the righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we beseech you, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech you, give us success. Blessed is the one who came, comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Find the festival procession of branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. I will give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. For his steadfast love endures forever. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.
gospel reading this morning comes from the gospel according to Matthew, the 28th chapter, beginning with the first verse. Hear the word of God. After the Sabbath, on the first day of the week, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was an earthquake, a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from the heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. For he has been raised, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples. He has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. And this is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. And Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is risen. This is what we celebrate today with great joy. We have proclaimed this central fact of the Christian faith today in the reading of scriptures, in our hymns, in our anthem, in this central, just with the liturgy and with the voices of our children. Jesus really is, really is risen from the dead. This is music to my ears. Children and worship. Jesus really is raised from the dead. He really is alive. He really is here today in our lives and in our every act of, of love, of kindness, of grace and compassion and hope. We live because Jesus lives in us. So what do we do with that? Like Mary Magdalene and the other Mary, we go and tell others about it. So it's probably good for us that the angels whom they encountered at the 